Hello YouTube, welcome back to a part six for the Windows 8.1 feature for Windows Blue. Um, so today I'm gonna be going into the desktop in the desktop interface and showing you guys a new feature, not so much a new feature, but a new layout in regards to File Explorer. And if you don't know what File Explorer is, it's this right here. It's just a window dialog for accessing your files through this GUI window. Now the new feature or the new thing that's available for this new build is this right here. If you go to computer right away, you'll notice something different. One, you have four new additional folders right here, which are from the libraries, but they're now extended inside the whole computer interface. So instead of having them on the drop down collapse list right here, you have them right here accessible. Now, if you guys like them, that's great. They're there for you now. Hopefully Microsoft will go ahead and incorporate them for the final version. If you don't like them, I have a solution, so if you want to stay tuned, I will go ahead and show you how to remove that. And just so you guys know that this solution has been founded by the creator from WinArrow. I got his ideas from his blog, and I wanted to go ahead and incorporate in a visual tutorial. So this tutorial is all credited to WinArrow. So if you guys want to go ahead and check him out, go to his site. It's called WinArrow.com. But this is exactly what you have. You have more access to it. So if you just so happen to have this one always collapse, just go ahead and save space. They're always right here for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get rid of them if you want to. And this is how you would do it. All you have to do is just go to this registry directory and just go ahead and navigate and I'll go ahead and walk you through it. So with your keyboard on the Windows key, just press that. Go ahead and press reg edit and press enter. That'll come up. Now this will go ahead and come up as well. And all you have to do is just navigate to the registry. And I'll go ahead and put this up right here and just go ahead and walk you guys through it. Now, first one would be H key local machine, which is here. Just drop that down. And next one is software. So right here, drop that down as well. Next one is Microsoft, which is here. And down below Microsoft, you wanna go for W, which is under Windows, and which is right here and drop that down as well. And then go under current version and then drop that down as well to explore. And down from explore, you wanna to go to my computer, drop that down as well. And under namespace, you have this right here. These are the entries that you will delete. You can just go by the first two letters, 1C, 3A, A0, and A8. All you have to do is just carefully, just right click them, press delete and it'll give you a confirmation if you want to. Press yes to all of them. Press delete as well. And for the last two, and that's how it's done. Um, one thing I had forgot to do is close this right here. So what's gonna happen is, from what you've seen before with the Explorer, you have those four libraries. If I reopen it and go to computer, they are not there anymore. So you have your current and familiar interface with regards to your local disk and also your other disk. So that's exactly how you do it. But if you guys do like it, just go ahead and disregard this tutorial on how to remove it. If you guys enjoy those four folders accessible, you can. If you guys are familiar with the whole collapse bar and you like it this way, this is a tutorial on how to go ahead and remove them. So if you guys like this video, if you guys like that new layout that Microsoft is trying to go for, go ahead and take advantage of it. Um, if you guys like the video on how to go ahead and remove it, go ahead and thumbs up this video. Go and share it to those that are a little annoyed to it. I'm sure they've commented before. Share this video. Um, share it on Facebook. Share it on Twitter and also Google+. And until next time, guys, see you later. All right, bye.